everybody, uh, thanks for joining me once again for the live broadcast Q&A uh, for painting. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, hope it's not <laughs> too boring at times since it's pieces that are almost already done. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to start new pieces eventually. And so you can see like the full progress and it won't take too long. So um, yeah, um, also if you guys are able to stay and watch the the photo editing tutorial in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from that as well. Um, but yeah, um, I started doing the new clouds last time, and today I will try and finish those. And if uh, we can get to anything else, we'll try and do that as well. But, um, yeah, without any further ado, let us begin. So the main thing about today's uh, topic is basically, um, last time I showed you how to start the clouds, like get your outline, how you're wanting it to, like where you want it to be, basically plotting out the clouds. This time we're going to go back in, add a lot more dimension and detail to the clouds, making them pop. So hopefully it'll turn out and be successful. So let's do it. Um, today, I'm going to be using the same colors, except uh, this time I'll just be adding black to the mixture. Um, get here. Um, I'm using ivory black. It's kind of a flat black, it's not too shiny. Um, so we can yeah, it's not very clear, but uh, ivory black, uh, or in Spanish, it's negro de marfil. Uh, it's artist oil colors, pre-tested. Um, I don't know if this company is still around or not. These are really old oils, but. Anyways, that's the color. Um, so um, here we go. We have the big blue area that I was using for the uh, this sky background, and then this is what I was using for the clouds. Here's my cloud white, which is the, again the titanium white, and then my blues and yellows and, and greens. So I'm going to add the black. Mm -hmm. Let's stick it right about there. Maybe a little bit too much, but I'll be able to use it for the size of the painting, like these areas here. I'll be able to use that using mixing the brown and black together. So it won't go to waste. Um, and then. I will use that same brush I used last time. This one here. Um, I don't know if it, you guys can hear that, but just you have cars driving by and their stereos are really far up. So. Um, I might also use this thin brush and this one. So. These are my weapons of choice and then possibly um, I used I used this brush last time as well to um, smooth out everything. Pretty good. 
should have been using that angle a long time ago. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So I have this cloud right here. It's in the background. And then I have one right here. And then it kind of comes down along here. And then I have one that comes all the way from this side and runs all the way up through here. And then there's a small one right, right back in here behind this one. So what you want to do is work in layers, starting from the furthest one back, and then you can build on top of that, on top of that, until you're finally done with this front one right here. So, yes, let us. Um, it's gonna be. I'm gonna kind of do white tips to kind of bring the volume, like a lot of white. Um, so let me just go ahead and throw that on there. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I really want to thin out this oil or not, but hmm, maybe just a little bit, just a wee bit. Stick a little drop of linseed oil on the palette. Mix it just a little bit. Okay. Working with uh, thicker paint, not using the thinned out linseed anymore. I'm just going along the edges of these. I'm going to bring the volume out. What will really bring out the detail in the volume is your counter shading. So, I'll do that here in a little bit.
Just making sure I have enough, plenty of uh, cover, painting cover. It's not too thin. Okay, I'm going to switch to like a totally different brush out of the brushes I was using to um, to mix uh, the blue paint again, so I don't have to worry about cleaning the other brushes. So I'm just going to use the end of my brush instead of the bristle part. Just pull the white in there. And then pull from the blue. This time mixing the blue into the white instead of white into the blue. More white. Little bit of green. That's uh, too much green, but I'm going to throw in some black. Mute it down. Take this brush and slinse it in with it. Thin it out. Go back and just go along the edge of the next cloud. Take this brush. I'm 
basically just tapping along the edge of the darker color and the white color and the white of the cloud. Just trying to blend that in. And then take the white again. Bring that white back out. Then taking this brush that I blended with before and just tapping in there again. Certain areas. And then taking like a this I'm kind of like a brown and yellow. Taking some of that. And then a little bit more yellow. Mix it. And then so the black. A little bit of blue.
and then we're going to really thin that out with the linseed oil. Add a little brown. Really trying to thin that out. Almost like an ink. And I think this brush is going to be a little too thick from what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to find a really thin. Really thin brush. And so what I'm, what I'm gonna want to do is try basically outlining the clouds, the edges of the clouds a little bit. It's really thinning it out with this. Then outlining the And then I'm going to take the brush I'm using for the white, put some white back on there, and then go back along the edge a little bit right below the uh, line you just kind of drew on there.
now you're kind of um, kind of painting the shadow of the cloud that's in front of it onto the the cloud in the back. That'll help give you dimension. And you can take with this yellow, mix it with some white. Get a really light yellow. I'm just kind of outline some of this stuff on the certain side where you have the sun and coming, hitting the clouds.
adding some color. In that brush again and in clouds. Now, for the next layer, taking white again. Bring the next layer in. Next layer of clouds.
just quickly throw some shadowing definition in there. And now we're going to take uh, kind of like the needle brush and with the dark paint on it and outline this uh, foremost cloud that we're painting on and outline it uh, from the cloud behind it. And we'll kind of blend that in. That'll create some separation, some greater separation in the two clouds. Did I creep you out? <laughs> I saw you guys go on. I was just waiting for you. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? Just watching you paint. Watching me paint. Yeah. Just wanted to see how it was coming along. Here it is. It's beautiful. He has decided to redo the clouds. What kind of paint is that again? It's oil paint. You're coming a long way, making some good progress. Yeah. So how are you guys doing? Doing good. good. We just wanted to check out your, you know, the last few minutes. Yeah. I got to say that I did not realize the last time was going to be broadcast over the Internet. I told you. <laughs> I didn't understand what you meant. It's beautiful. But we watched it again and laughed very hard. <laughs> this time we're not eating. We're not going to eat this time. We're saving that. Gotcha. Well, it wasn't too bad. Is that like... Do you have blue tape? Yeah, the blue tape. Um, okay, I I didn't I thought that was tape. I didn't know if that was paint. Yeah, no, it's uh, keeping me from Bleeding. painting on the the brick walls. And, yeah, uh, I could like go crazy with the paint and stuff. Still <sighs> watching TV.
das Wort. So what'd you eat for dinner? What did you say? I actually haven't eaten dinner yet. Oh. Yeah. What time is it there in Indianapolis? It is 10 till 9. Oh, wow. It's 10 till 8, my time. Oh. Our time's right. If you say so. Do we change clocks? Hmm? Do we change clocks in the um, Yeah, we'll go. Uh, so do you still not change time? clocks? Yeah, it will happen in October, right? Oh. I'm so freaking cool. He's washing his brushes. So about what percentage, well, how do I say that? How far along are you on this project? How much do you have left? What percentage do you have left? Basically, all I'm wanting to do is finish the clouds and these brick walls on the sides. Those are the biggest things that I have with this. Um, other than that, just little touch-ups here and there. So, just kind of <coughs> at the point, like with with paintings and stuff like that. Like I find myself getting bored quickly. So if the mm -hmm. painting doesn't get done quickly, then I just kind of I'm just painting. <laughs> yeah. I'm really trying to. I guess do a good job or anything. So, kind of have to leave and come back to it uh, after a certain point. Yeah. And so I think that's kind of what happened with these brick walls. Uh, I was I kind of had a wall, pun intended. Yeah. yeah. So the last time we watched you, though, you 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 were doing the brick walls, like. I was. Yeah, I was. Did you take the lines off of them? You said you couldn't get the angles right. I was getting. I was working on this. You can't really see it. Yes, I do remember. Nice. Right here. Yeah. Yes. Did you? You took the lines off the bricks, didn't you? Here. No, like all on the sides. Oh no, they're still kind of there. Oh, they're, I see them. They're faint. You were talking about how you couldn't get the angles right last time. Right, yeah. I'm going to have to get like a, a roller and draw the lines on there and then follow the lines. So, just getting that perspective shift is going to be difficult. I can do it. Yeah. Did you take off the lantern? Uh, that was sticking out here. Is that what? That's what's missing. Yeah, I had yeah. to take it off because I repainted the background. I'm just gonna stick it right back on. Cool. I thought. I thought so. That some was missing. Jenna, Jenna caught it, not me. I didn't know. Yeah. We have Jessica's drawing on the way home from church in some kind of truck V shot. Uh, yeah. yeah. What would I look under? You might have to go to like the B-roll folder or something like that. I 
Why did they take off that lantern? Well, you redo the backdrop. Why did they have to redo it? You wanted to. So why did you want to redo your background again? Um, I wanted to try a new uh, cloud technique. Um, and the clouds that I had put on there, they were too wispy. I wanted more like, volume to the clouds. Mm. Your child's there. In the clouds? Looking at that one, girl. Thought he left here. Is he? Can't. <laughs> no, I'm sure he was left. Why do I think he's a lefty? You can hear us whispering. <laughs> This is my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I thought you were a lefty. Nope. Some other pretty famous person. Ooh. Mm -hmm. What? I don't know. That's his name. And it's his, he's in the pretty famous category. Mm. Isn't, that, isn't there a name for that term? Prefamous. Prefamous? Prefamous. <laughs> prefamous. <laughs> You're so prefamous. Just remember, remember us little people when you get famous? Yeah, remember us little people. <laughs> I'm I trying to say that to you eventually. Uh-huh. Tony's the one that's going to be famous. Don't forget us, little people. I'm going to be a famous lumberjack. Actually, I think I'm the only little person right now. Hmm. You're not a little person. I am. You're a really little person. <laughs> Can you draw a bird in there? Yeah, like the little, little ones. Yeah, I think you should. Can you draw a lightning bolt coming through the clouds? <laughs> I could. What Will about I? a what about a bumblebee? <laughs> bumblebee. Giant bumblebee. A giant bumblebee, yeah. Gargantuan bumblebee. So do you have to have this painting done by a certain time? If I did, that time has come long gone. So do you have your customer or the person that purchased that already, are they kind of upset with you? Or, or I mean, not upset, are they like, I want my painting, you know? Um, probably, but I mean, I've kind of told them, been kind of busy, so... Yeah, I mean, because you've been... Know, when I send him the piece, I'm going to, like, send him both movies and stuff like that and kind of say, you know, this is what's up. <laughs> this is why it's going to take a while. It's kind of cool, though. Like... Stick back off me. I've been making movies, man. Yeah. Is my video slow? Like, is it <laughs> lagging? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. This Seems. is majorly lagging on my end. Oh, like we we are. Yeah, ours ours looks like it 
It is for us, too. Hmm? Is Yours ours is, lives? and then mine is as well. Like, like, my video is slow as well. Oh, so weird. <laughs> on, but on, when we see you, it's not oh. slow. That's good. Sir. Yes, sir. What are you making? <laughs> it's a cloud technique, Joe. Leave him alone. So I um I checked out your YouTube page in the comments. Oh yeah. And I commented. And I wanted to go beat up whoever those people were. <clears throat> Cause they made me mad. Well, that's you. Cool. I, I don't know who they are, but did you want to cyber punch them? I did. Bam. I've wanted to be cyber punched before. You wanted to be cyber punched, or you? I've what? had somebody want to cyber punch me before. As a joke? Yeah, like a couple nights ago. Oh yeah, the diamonds. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yes. Watch this. What color is that? Uh, it's like a bluish gray. Oh, it's oh representing God. the shadow of the cloud that's in front of it. Oh, stop it. That will be in front of it eventually. Oh, I like the the contouring and texture. <laughs> I feel like the yeah, the contrast of the flabbergaskies is my favorite. <laughs> it's probably Mason's technique that I'm most familiar with. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mason's technique. Hmm? The uh, pentacarta used to be <laughs> one of the most famous techniques I <laughs> did. So you're familiar with the Pentacarta technique? Yes, the Pentacarta is one of my favorite techniques. What's that brush? It's the Pentacarta brush. It's part of the Pentacarta technique. It sounds like some sort of ship. <laughs> See? Pentacarta. Boom. Right there. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to um, get more people to join this hangout, Caleb. Cool. Who are you uh, interested in? I don't know. She has not told them yet. Who do you know that has a Google Plus account? I don't know anybody that does. I I try to avoid getting involved in more social networks.
you know, we artists, we need support, you know, we need love from other artists, I think. Don't, don't you agree? I would agree. What is it? I would agree. Yeah. You need to know that you're not alone. Because you can isolate yourself, you know. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you, child. Bless, bless you, my child. Whose voice is that? Bless you, my child. I shall bless you, my child. Look at those clouds, Tony. Those are awesome. I see them. Those are like amazing. I see them. That's what we're watching. Linda. Oh, born. Oh. Okay. There's the Pentacarta brush that he's using right now. <laughs> oh, I love the Pentacarta brush. It's just creepy. That's creepy. Stop it. Did you know that he has a pet parakeet? In the cage behind him? Oh, we don't. Yeah, he does. It's behind him. Oh, what do you think that noise is? He said, what's up, girl? Oh. <laughs> Can I? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? <laughs> So, girl. So. So. All right. So that is it for today. We enjoyed it very much, didn't we, Tony? Yes. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Has it. Do what? It, you kind of stopped. Oh, I do see that. That's really nice. Yes. What are we looking at? We're looking at the clouds. Oh, yeah, I see that. It's very nice. Don't redo it. I love the Pentacarta technique. It's perfect. Keep using Keep the Pentacarta as much as possible. Some people say you can overdo the Pentacarta. I totally disagree. Keep it, keep it, keep it. All right. Well, that is it for today. Hopefully, those of you who are watching um, on YouTube or on the website learn something from the Pentacarta technique. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions or comments, kind. Just post them on my website or on YouTube, and I'll read them, and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. So hope you guys have a great evening, and I will see you um, tomorrow night. See you, buddy. See you, buddy.